Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco. Who? Oh! As for this video, it took quite a bit because as you can see, I'm kind of sick, I'm kind of constipated, uh, and I'm still kind of recovering, so my voice is not yet, well, okay-ish. And before starting this video, let me just tell you that I released a video yesterday testing the RDNA 3 versus RDNA 4 cards, or at least one card versus another, in this case, 7900 XTX versus the 9070 XT in terms of codec quality, and I believe that's a very, very good video, especially for you guys that are thinking of, of upgrading to RDNA 4 or maybe just getting an RDNA 4 for another computer, whatever. I believe it's a very good video, so if you like that kind of content, go there and watch it to help the channel, of course. As for this video, we have the review of the Adrenaline 25.6.2 drivers and as I say in all my videos, 25 is the year 2025, 6 is the month June and 2 is the revision in that same month, the second revision of June. And by the way, if AMD releases 2 or more drivers a month, either things are very good or they're very bad because they need to release drivers. But anyway, this is an optional upgrade, an optional update and, and yeah, there are some good things and bad things that I'll be discussing later in the video, but as usual, let's start with the release notes. Firstly, we start with new game support for the Alters and FBC Firebreak. And by the way, this game, FBC Firebreak, didn't even get released, so we are getting support before the game. And as for the Alters, there are some really interesting things because the Alters do have better performance with these new drivers with both the RX 7000 and 9000 series. Just letting you know. The same way I'm letting you know about today's sponsor. GVG Mall! Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So, release notes once again. We now have new game support for AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4, also known as FSR 4, for the Alters, Delta Force, Dragon Kin, The Banished, Roadcraft, and then we have a complete list of the AMD FSR 4 games uh, here. And by the way, I don't really know if you remember, but AMD has a technical preview FSR 4 drivers, and the, um, the 25.6.2, these drivers came after those preview drivers, and they, it's kind of a mixed bag, because, for example, these drivers bring support for the Alters, Delta Force and so on. The previous technical preview drivers for FSR 4 also bring support for these games, but the 25.6.2 drivers don't bring support for the games that were in the technical preview. So, for example, games like Silent Hill 2, with these drivers you won't have support for FSR 4 on that game. And there are other games included like the first Berserker Kazan, maybe GTA 5 Enhanced Edition and so on, you need the, um, the technical preview driver for FSR 4, because these drivers do bring some new games supported, but yeah, they, are, they don't really have the games that are from the previous preview driver, just letting you know, it's a bit confusing, but it is what it is, and by the way, at least in my main build, the alters doesn't really work with FSR 4, it just doesn't. And the same for Hell is Us. Hell is Us works very well with the 9060 XT, with the technical preview drivers. On these drivers, it says that FSR is available. As soon as I enable FSR 3 in the game, it just is a complete mess. It says that FSR is available, but isn't activated, even though it is in game. Uh, and again, with the technical preview drivers, it works. And in case of the alters, it doesn't even say that it supports FSR 4 at all, which is, again, these are kind of optional drivers and I believe that, uh, that the, the official or WHQL signed drivers will fix this. Most likely the 25.7.1. As for fixed issues and improvements, we have Oculus Rift S may display with a green tint on AMD Radeon RX 7000 series GPUs, one of the issues that some people were having and finally it's getting fixed. Stutter and lower than expected performance may be observed when using all tab and streaming to the squad with multiple monitors. Another issue that some users, not all of course, but some users were having. Intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Marvel Spider-Man 2 with ray tracing enabled on the RX 9060 XT. Intermittent application crash may be observed when first launching The Last of Us Part 1 on Radeon RX 96 XT graphics products. Again, Again, something that has been presented with um, with um, 6.1 drivers. And the last fixed issue is lower than expected performance may be observed while playing Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide on the Radeon RX 9070 series graphics products. 
So basically we have fixes for Dark Tide and there, there were lots of people complaining about Dark Tide in the comment section that wasn't working properly. People having crashes with the 96 XT with The Last of Us while loading shaders or the first time they loaded the game and it seems that we do have some important fixes which is great. But as always we also have the known issues. The first known issue is texture flickering or corruption may appear while playing The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion Remastered with the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution enabled on the Radeon RX 9070 XT. And again, this is an issue that has been happening for quite a while and still not fixed, maybe on the next official drivers. Stutter may be observed while playing games with some VR headsets at 80 or 90 Hz refresh rate on some AMD graphics products. Again, this is an issue that has been happening for months and months and somehow still not fixed which is very sad to hear, but still, it is what it is. Intermittent system or application crash may be observed while playing Cyberpunk 2077 on some AMD graphics, graphics products, sorry, such as the Radeon RX 7000 and 9000 series, which is kind of a bummer if you ask me. Intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Monster Hunter Wilds with Radeon anti-lag and instant replay enabled, basically just disable anti-lag or instant replay and by the way you can just use Radeon Chill, it's, it's much better generally. Stutter may be observed while playing Call of Duty Wars on Season 3 Verdansk map on some AMD graphics products and again I tested it on the 96 XT, 9070 XT and it worked well and by the way I'm gonna be testing it soon on the 7800 XT to see if I'm getting stutters as well or not really. Stutter and lower than expected performance may be observed while playing 4K resolution YouTube videos on Chrome. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to play videos in full screen as a temporary workaround. And by the way, this is one of the issues that some of you guys, well, have. I, I had that issue as well, speci especially when I was not using the, um, the Microsoft Edge's Vivid mode that works well in that case scenario too. But one member of the community, of our community, just made a comment on one of my YouTube videos and just told me, well, just go to the Windows 11 settings, go to the power modes and, in and instead of high performance, sorry, just select the balanced mode. Then you can go to the Windows 11 performance modes and you can still select high performance, but the videos will stop stuttering. And guess what? It worked. As for the last known issue it is, intermittent application crash may be observed while playing FBC Firebreak on some AMD Ryzen AI 300 series and some Ryzen 7000 series APU products. So, a very niche product, still it is happening, but I mean the game wasn't even released yet so I don't think it is an issue and if AMD fixes the issue with 25.7.1 uh, drivers it will be completely fine I guess. And now that you know the release notes and so on and this isn't really a big video per se, let's see what I found about these drivers. Well I found that these drivers have generally better FPS, not in all scenarios but in some of the games that I tested I felt like the FPS uh, numbers were a bit higher and in some scenarios the 1% loss increase as well but again I only tested these drivers with the 9070 XT and the 7800 XT so if you feel the same if you feel like you're having more FPS or a, or a smoother gameplay leave a comment in the comment section telling me that on top of that we have VR fixes which is always great and as for FSR4 I tested Delta Force and Delta Force works even though on the last drivers they said that the Delta Force FSR4 support was only for the campaign it does work with a uh, multiplayer I tested it it works perfectly and of course it is much better than anything that we had before with FSR 3.1 just much better as for hell is us like I told you in the beginning it says that it supports the game but as soon as I enable it even if I close the game enter again doesn't really matter it just never activates while with the FSR 4 technical preview drivers it works just letting you know as for the alters it doesn't even show that FSR 4 is supported which I mean, these drivers are specifically to support alters and they bring better performance to alters uh, for both 7000 and 9000 series, but at the same time, they say that they bring FSR4 support and they, they, don't really, they don't really bring it, while the technical preview driver again works just fine. So if you want to download the driver, it is also available. And well guys, that's all for today's video, not really much more to say, no blue screens, no black screens, some of the fixes, I really hope that some of the fixes that I talked about worked for you, like the VR issues, like for example the one with the video playback, I really hope that issue gets fixed with, with sorry, what I told you before, and, and yeah, besides that, the performance seems to be slightly better, so yeah, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about these drivers. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.